back up into the attic I go, armed with a cup of coffee. Just gonna do maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour or whatever of refolding and organizing clothes and making the bed just to make a start really. Otherwise, when do you ever start? And then after that, I'll make myself, make myself, make my way to work, etc. Just come all the way from downstairs and have a breath. Ugh. Mental. Mm. Good coffee. Anywho, let's begin. Cool. This is the 10.5 tog. So I probably could do with putting the light one on now. Right, crappy pillow. Need to real like my partner, I don't understand why, but he has so many pillows that it's ridiculous. Like this is one of these. I think this one. Is it this one? I don't know. And this one from my house and then I've got the other two of these on my side of the bed in my bedroom whereas he likes these like memory foam ones and since I've moved in I have a bad back anyways I think it's just through years and years of like not sleeping properly being like a single mum and stuff having a crap mattress because I couldn't afford anything else and like always being on the go, not sleeping properly, not sleeping in the right position, not having the right pillows because I can't afford the good ones. Um, I, I, I was using these memory foam pillows and I just had the worst back in the world. So it's trying to like get my back into like a good, into a good like state again, but it's taken a while. Seems like I'm making progress and then it doesn't and it's a bit of a nightmare. So I need to put a sheet, I need to buy a mattress protector for this, but I haven't got one, so for now it'll be fine. That's my cup. There we are. I think what I'm just going to do... Oh dear. Just put one of the thicker ones on now because they take up more space. So I put that, that, that. Right, that's spare white, spare white. Uh, right, so that's a top pillow that's got a mattress protector on it. I'm going to call those two. Oh, see, that one's falling out. So this is the one that's from my house. So two pillows in one. Oops. Right. So they were a pair, and then that's a bottom pillow. I think you're supposed to change your pillows every year or something, aren't you? Because of the bacteria that gets into them. Maybe in the new year, 
I need to do like a massive pillow haul. That'll be expensive, won't it? Oof. Um, you get to a certain point in your life where you're just always sick of buying the cheaper version of everything. And you want to buy the good stuff, but you know, you don't have the budget for it. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. Right, so there's two base pillows. So some poor sod's got to have the memory foam. Do they go on the top or do they go on the bottom? Oh, I tell you what, if I have to leave this one out, take the pillow protector off of that. Now I'm missing a pillow protector, am I? Well, this hard work. Right, so that's come off. You can go in the wash. And these are the two top pillows I want to use, but they both need pillow protectors. I only got one pillow protector. This needs to come off and go in the wash. So this is the, right, this is the 4.5 part of the duvet to go with the 10.5 part of the duvet to make it into a 15 tog when it's really cold. They're cool, but because it's quite warm up here, I think maybe this time of year is cooler, so the 4.5 would just be too cool. And the 10.5 plus the 4.5 would be too warm. That's my logic. Now this whole thing is inside out. Let's turn this the right way round. That can be chucked downstairs to go into the wash. There's another duvet cover here. What's this? This is a single one. Is that a single one? Yeah. And that's a 13.5 tog, so that's quite a warm one. So, hang on. Let's do that there for a minute. I need another pillow protector. I'm gonna find one of those. They're not pillow protectors, they're just white pillowcases. It's two pink pillowcases.
just that. It just feels so much newer. I don't think this is the matching one. What's this? That's a George one, so that's actually a new one. So it's old. It's got a hole in it. So this can be a pillow protector for this. Even though I think these have already got like pillow protectors on them. What's this zip? These could do with coming off then, if that's the case. Yeah. See, it's just that horrible, crappy, yellow, memory foamy stuff. So this could actually do with having a wash. I wonder if I should do that. I think I will. I doubt, highly doubt, that these have ever been washed by the colour of them. Grim. Men are so crap at stuff like that, aren't they? Not all men. <laughs> let's just, let's not tar every man with the same brush but as a general rule of thumb <laughs> i think i think if you said to your partner about pillow protector they'd be like you what have you ever washed them what what do you need to wash them for that's probably the answer i'll get <laughs> right so those can do with a good freshen up in the meantime I'll still put pillow protectors on these because I just need to make this bed. Ew, these are all falling apart. They've now got foam pieces all over. Gross. Who has memory foam pillows? No. Not my jam. There's one. You can get off my nice clean sheet. Ugh. So. They just feel disgusting. They feel wet. Ugh. Moist. Ugh. Nice pillow cases. It's time. Cool. Got a little bit yet. Smells so fresh. Okay. So that's, I don't know if you know if you're supposed to have the memory foam one on the bottom or not. Ain't got a foggy. Right, there's one. Every time I put this duvet cover on my bed, people always compliment me on it and ask me where I got it from. So it's like a really like brushed cotton type of material. So sort of like a lot thicker than your average cotton duvet cover. Um, and my mum got these from QVC years ago and like, Basically, every single duvet cover I own, my mum has bought for me over the years. I think I got like a new one every year for oh, five, six years, seven years, or whatever. Which is cool because duvet covers, okay, like, yes, yeah, some of them start, some of them have started to get a bit mm, now, I guess. And like, some of the buttons have fallen off and the poppers have just had their day but 
duvet covers are something that really, really last. So you don't mind spending, we always used to go to Kath Kidston or Laura Ashley or somewhere like that and get them in the sale or discounted off or the Christmas January sales or whatever, Boxing Day sales. So they were still like a hundred pound, which seems excessive for a freaking duvet cover. But if you think about like how much time you actually spend in your bed, you want to be getting into a bed where it's like a place where you should like enjoy going to and enjoy like sleeping in. Does that make any sense? Right. Okay, so they look not that great, but whatever. We'll roll with it. This is such a lovely reef. Reef. You can only get a reef as in like a great barrier reef. <laughs> it's definitely not that. Right, so we're going with the 10.5, aren't we? God, I need to suffer my coffee. Cool. That. Oh. Is that stupid black pillow in there? Ugh. Anyway. So these have got buttons. Oh yeah. So I didn't finish my story really. So this one's from like QVC, the brand of it I think has completely rubbed off the label now, Zoz. My mum did like to spend some money on QVC, bless her. burning me out up here. It's quite bright, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. It looks so much tidier already. Oh. It's not perfect. It's not ironed. I don't do ironing. But whew, we have a made bed. Fabulous, darling. As if that's taking me 24 minutes. Right. 9.37, right. Oh, there's your work. So now, going to do a little bit of organising of the other bed stuffs, I suppose. Right, so, right. this is duvet cover. Um, One of the pillowcases, two of the pillowcases. And then these are two random spare pillowcases I had as gifts, which is just nice to match it 
mix it up a bit. I'll There's a pillowcase of the one. I don't know how this one got washed already. Let's just, the other matching bits to this need to go in the wash. Right. So we've got this, that. Right, two brand new ones, single. And the actual. Okay, that's the 4.5 double. That's the 13.5 single. This is a, like a double weird thing. It's like an extra, it's like a quilt rather than a duvet. What even is this? Meradiso. Does this have English on it? A material cover, 100% cotton, filling, 100% cotton. Tog 5.9. I think this too, this is just like an extra to add on. So say if you only had like a 4.5, I don't know. It's weird, it's a double anyway. I put it in my King. Um, it's really heavy, it's weird. I suppose it's 100% cotton. Um, put it into my King duvet cover once and it was like a bit too small, but we used it in the summer for when we've got a feather filled duvet and that was just too hot. It's almost too hot now. So that's double, single, you can't really see me. Uh, right, and this old rickety basket is full of, this is the double, this is another brushed cotton one that my mum bought me. It's like a Christmassy themed one. So that should just stay up here for till November at least. Right, so cool. They come out. So double, what's that? Oh, look, a double mattress protector. <sighs> right, let's get that washed and I'll put it on this one. And that double sheet obviously needs to be washed as well. Right, so I found a double mattress protector for this bed up here which is great. Right, that's this is the Tesco one. It feels like the Tesco one. So that's a spare white, plain white pillowcase. It's another white pillowcase, but it's different material. I can feel it. And I think this is the one to match. I don't know. Let's go through all the labels. So that's plain white. And then I've got a plain white duvet cover up here as well, which they're handy sometimes. Okay, so what are we doing? Double plain white pillowcases. Um, pillow 
pillowcase. 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 Duvet cover. And that's the one I've got to wash. It's the single stuff. Another single, see, man colours. Yuck. Who has a black duvet cover, seriously? That, and then two pink pillowcases. So at least that's a bit more organised now. One spare pillow. And a single duvet cover. Right, that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm gonna do for today. There is some sort of organization. There's loads more um, duvet covers and spare pillows in Holly's room because we didn't know where to put them at the time, but I'm gonna bring them up here, organize them into their relevant sizes and try and like pair everything up. And then everything needs to have like a pair um, I'm going to wash the mattress protector and get that back on here. And then that will be all like the bed linen organised so and it, in one place. So it's not in different rooms of the house um, and things like that. So that's started but not completed. To be continued. <laughs> I should do like a... Um, not like a bed linen haul because I'm not buying it, but like a look at all my bed linen vlog. How boring would that be? I bet you some people would actually love that, to be perfectly honest. But hey ho. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle with all of my bed stuff. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, give me some comments down below about the amount of bed linen or the lack of you have and how you store yours. If, is there a way that I could be storing this better to save more space? Um, should I put it into one of those big tubs? We'll see how we go, I don't know. I can only really tell how I'm gonna store it once I've amalgamated it all into one place. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. Click subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.